trying for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I, granted, we went into overtime and held them to 61 points, way below their average, which um, is probably one of the few positives in that game. But uh, we're young. This We haven't been in an overtime game. This is a really good learning opportunity. We made some mistakes down the stretch that are fixable. Um, you know, some young, youthful mistakes. So that's something that I think in this quick, tight turnaround, I mean, you look at, we missed 12 free throws and we give up 16 second chance points. It's 28 points right there. That's like an easy fit, like 28 points that are very, very fixable. Um, and so that's something that we don't have to reinvent the wheel necessarily. We just have to fine tune some of these things that we've already been talking about and practicing and get, get a little bit better. It's hard to be disappointed in defense. They shot low, they scored low, they had a lot of turnovers. It's just a lot of work maybe just completing the possession. Yeah, well, we, we play good defense, and you want to see great defensive effort, but then in order to put the exclamation mark on a great defensive effort, you have to block out and get the rebound. And so we can say it till we're blue in the face. Um, you know, we can practice it, but that's just kind of a, a want thing at that point. Like, you have to know, all right, 34 is going to X on offensive rebound or on free throws for to try to get an offensive rebound. We need to pinch. We need to put a body on her. We need to out jump them. Um, and so when something happens over and over again, that's kind of the growth of the team. Like, we'll, and we'll see that. We'll see the growth of this team and the leadership. We need to go to the line and say, hey, who's blocking out who? Like, don't let them get another offensive rebound. And that's going to be part of the process for us. But again, we can't get burned in the same area over and over and over again and expect a different result. Well, this feels like a, a game where you would relish the opportunity see that team again tomorrow. Is that the case? Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's kind of like redo. You get a redo now. We want a redo, and here, here we are getting to play back-to-back. -back. Um, and like I said, I don't know if there's tons of adjustments that need to be made. I mean, there'll be some a little bit offensively. I thought our flow wasn't very good. But there's some things, even like from a box score perspective that I'm looking at, that if we just hone in on and get a little better at, um, again, there's, there's 28 points there with free throws and then second chances. Like, that's just a huge chunk of the score when you're holding them to 61 points. New Mexico State was technically the home team. Did anything change for you guys? Was there any reminder that you were not the home team in your own gym? We would have loved to have had our band and our cheer um, and dance out there, but that's kind of something, too, um, being the guests that we didn't get the luxury of. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's good just to play basketball. I'm sure they're in the same boat. Wherever we're playing, at least we are healthy and playing right now. So, um, you know, like I said, the, the turnaround's quick, and we're both here in Phoenix. So that's the nice thing, too, that this has kind of been their second home, and this is our home right now. So um, we can sleep in, in our beds and then go at it again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we got the shot off and up, and it was a good look. And, um, you know, just they don't bounce your way sometimes. And maybe there's a reason for that. You know, maybe there's a reason for our growth and our execution um, down the stretch. I thought in overtime we looked a little sluggish. So we have to think, okay, that ball didn't drop for us, but here we go, here's overtime. And so, oh, shoot, we should have had it. Now we got five minutes of basketball. It's just kind of changing that mindset and when you're trying to kind of improve and um, this is a youthful team again, so we haven't been in a lot of those situations. LP is probably the only one last year that's been in tight game situations and been on the floor. So it's a good opportunity for us to learn and, and move forward, fix some things and um, upward and onward. Yeah, absolutely. That team is super athletic. They get downhill really, really well. Um, I thought we need to do a better job of kind of showing and going a little bit, helping and then recovering. We were leaving shooters on same side dribble penetration. You don't want to do that, and they hit some open threes. Um, but, you know, I, I thought some of our pressure got to them. So that's something that we need to continue to do and be aggressive in the pressure defensive part of it. And, um, you know, with our kids, it's also about, you know, knowing timing, when to go. And sometimes we went at the wrong time. So again, the, this is like a 180 of what they're used to. So you'll get better and hopefully you get better of that as you go down um, into conference play.